When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all the other videos that I've done on my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about the second set of planets in the solar system, the gas giants, and then I'll be talking about the sun. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun, and it is the largest planet. Jupiter is made of gas and is therefore called a gas giant. The planet is two and a half times more massive than all the other planets in the solar system combined. Jupiter turns on its axis every 10 hours. The rapid rotation flattens the planet slightly, giving it an oblate shape. It takes Jupiter about 12 Earth years to complete one full revolution around the sun. Jupiter's atmosphere is the solar system's largest planetary atmosphere. It is made of hydrogen, 96%, and helium, 10%, in roughly the same portions found in the sun. It also contains smaller amounts of other gases like ammonia, methane, and water. Jupiter is the fourth brightest object in the solar system. Only the Sun, Moon and Venus are brighter. It is one of five planets that are very visible from Earth. Jupiter has a thin ring system. Its rings are composed mainly of dust particles. The ring system begins at 92,000 kilometers above Jupiter's cloud tops and stretches out to more than 225,000 kilometers from the planet. They are between 2,000 to 12,500 kilometers thick. The Great Red Spot is a really huge storm on Jupiter. It has raged for at least 350 years. It is so large that three Earths could fit inside it. Jupiter's moon, Ganymede, is the largest moon in the solar system. Jupiter's moons are sometimes called Jovian satellites. The largest of these are Ganymede, Callisto, Io and Europa. Ganymede measures 5,268 kilometers across, making it, making it larger than the planet Mercury. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and is also a gas giant. Saturn is very well known for its rings. Saturn is mostly made of hydrogen. It exists in layers that get denser farther into the planet. Eventually, deep inside, the hydrogen becomes metallic. At the core lies a hot interior. Saturn takes about just over 10 and a half hours to rotate on its axis and it takes Saturn about 29 years to complete a full revolution around the Sun. Saturn has the most extensive rings in the solar system. The Saturnian rings are made mostly of chunks of ice and small amounts of carbonation dust. The rings stretch out more than 120,700 kilometers from the planet, but they are only 20 meters. Saturn has 150 moons and smaller moonlets. The largest moons are Titan and Rhea. Enceladus appears to have an ocean below its frozen surface. Saturn is the planet with the most moons. Saturn's atmosphere is composed primarily of hydrogen, 96%, and helium, 3%, with traces of other substances like methane, ammonia, acetylene, ethane, propane and phosphine. Winds in the upper at atmosphere can reach speeds of 500 meters a second. These combined with um, these combined with heat rising from, wi from within the planet's interior cause yellow and gold bands. Saturn has 
has oval shaped storms similar to Jupiter's. The region around its north pole has a hexagonal shaped pattern in the upper clouds. The planet also has a vortex over its south pole that resembles a hurricane like storm. Earth is the densest planet in the solar system, while Saturn is the least dense. While the density of Saturn is 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. Uranus is tipped over on its side with an axial tilt of 980 degrees, of, sorry, 98 degrees. It is often described as rolling around the sun on its side. Uranus rotates, Uranus rotates on its axis every 17 hours. It takes 84 Earth years to complete an orbit around the sun. The planet rotates in a retrograde direction opposite to the way Earth and most other planets turn. During some parts of its orbit, one of the other of its poles points directly at the sun and get about 42 years of direct sunlight. The rest of the time, they are in darkness. With minimum atmospheric temperature of minus 224 degrees Celsius, Uranus is nearly the coldest planet in the solar system. While Neptune doesn't get as cold as Uranus, it is on average colder. The upper atmosphere of Uranus is covered by a methane haze, which hides the storms that take place in the cloud depths. Uranus is Uranus is often referred to as an ice giant, like the other gas giants. It has a hydrogen upper layer, which has helium mixed in. Below that is an icy mantle which surrounds a rock and ice core. Which surrounds rock and ice core. The upper atmosphere is made of water, ammonia and the methane ice crystals that give the planet its pale blue colour. Uranus has two sets of very thin dark coloured rings. The ring particles are small, ranging from dust sized particles to small boulders. There are 11 inner rings and 2 outer rings. They probably formed when one or more of Uranus's moons were broken up were broken up in an impact. Oberon and Titania are the largest uranium moons. Uranus has 27 known moons. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and it is a gas giant. Neptune is the most distant planet from the Sun. Neptune rotates on its axis once every 16.11 hours and it takes about 165 Earth years to complete a full orbit around the Sun. Neptune is the smallest of ice giants. Despite being smaller than Uranus, Neptune has a greater mass. Below its heavy atmosphere, Uranus is made of layers of hydrogen and helium and methane gases. They enclose a layer of water, ammonia and methane ice. The inner core of the planet is made of rock. The atmosphere of Neptune is made of hydrogen and helium, with some methane. The methane absorbs red light, which makes the planet appear in lovely blue. Neptune has a thin collection of rings. They are likely to be composed of ice particles mixed with mixed with dust grains and possibly coated with a carbon-based substance. Neptune has 14 moons. The Sun. The Sun is a star and it is at the center of the solar system. It is an almost perfect sphere of super hot gases whose gravity holds the solar system together. The energy produced by the sun is essential for life on Earth. 
the mass of the sun is approximately 330,000 times greater than that of Earth. It is almost three quarters hydrogen, while most of the well, most of the remaining mass is helium. The sun has a strong magnetic field. Magnetic energy released by the sun during magnetic storms causes solar flares. We see these as sunspots. In sunspots, the magnetic lines twist and they spin much like a tornado would on Earth. At around 4.6 billion years old, the sun has already burned up about half of its half of its store of hydrogen. It has enough left to continue to burn hydrogen for about 5 billion years. The sun is currently a type of star known as the yellow dwarf. The sun is 24,000 to 26,000 light years from the galactic center. It takes the sun 225 to 250 million years to complete a full orbit of the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The temperature inside the sun can reach 15 million degrees Celsius. The energy is generated at the sun's core by nuclear fusion as hydrogen converts to helium. The sun would explode if it were not for its enormous gravitational force. The temperature on the surface of the sun is closer to 5,600 degrees Celsius. One million ants could fit inside the sun. A hollow sun would fit around 960,000 spherical Earth. It's squished inside with no wasted space, and around 1 million. 300,000 would fit inside. The sun's surface area is 11,990 times that of Earth's. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you'll never miss an upload. And also, thank you for 400 subscribers.